Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here of Morbid Team Entertainment and Bolex Repair Philippines. This video is on Buy at Your Own Risk Bolex Standard 8mm Vintage Movie Cameras. Definitely the P3 as it was the first model marketed with Power Zoom. This being no fault of Bolex, but however, the user failing to remove the circled in red battery in the lens section before packing it away in a closet for years to come, the battery would then become corroded and break off the little prongs in the lens section, connecting it to the battery and the power zoom feature. These cameras are rare today, the P3, and mostly used for parts. Moving on to the Bolex S1, these cameras and its similar models are simply irritating for the service person to repair. Under the attractive aluminum are hidden some of the screws to get into certain sections of the camera for servicing. You're going to also have a difficult time finding someone to service it. The K1 is of no exception, suffering from the same problems, including the exposure meter setting. The battery would become corroded as the user would not remove it and pack in the camera away for years. And you're going to buy these cameras, buy lots of the camera bodies, if you're going to own and maintain them. The K2 also suffering from the same issues. When you buy a lot of these cameras to maintain them, you're going to need all those parts, especially the attractive aluminum and Moroccan leather, although that can be attained elsewhere. The Moroccan leather, rather. And you're going to have to have these serviced by someone, or you'll have to learn how to do it yourself more importantly. The P4 is of no exception whatsoever. All these models basically suffer from the same issues. To find someone to service them is rare. So here again, you're going to have to learn how to do it yourself. The aluminum becomes bent up generally when you remove it for servicing. And they're just a real irritating set of models to service. So there you have it. I hope this helps you and you've learned a good bit from it. Remember, buy a bunch of camera bodies, service these yourself. Hope this helps you. See ya!